Hey y'all, it's your buddy Chuck again and we're back at it on Tuesday, November 26th. Driving to Kingsland, Georgia this morning and Spark sent us an offer for $17.81 and we ignored it until it went up to $20.81 and finally accepted it. It's three drops, 11 miles. Eh, it's all right, almost $21. Um, it's going to three houses, no apartments, no cases of water. It'll be fine, I think. Anyway, we're almost there to the St. Mary's Walmart. We're on the schedule today for St. Mary's. It's a miracle. Like from 8.30 a.m. until 12.30 p.m. So maybe we'll get to do a little DoorDash today, too. And, of course... We already got one Uber offer, so shop and deliver at Winn-Dixie, $9 shopping for 10 items. We declined that. Here we go, y'all. About to get loaded up for a three-drop curbside. All right, y'all. We're all loaded up, and this isn't going to be bad at all. We've got order in the front seat and one catering bag order in the back seat and another catering bag and then the order in the hatchback is in two catering bags turn right onto Kings Bay Road and I think it's our second drop is going to Wanda who owns wonderful things restaurant still never eaten there the but line, uh, turn left onto Road. one of these days I'm going to because it looks wonderful wonderful Six miles to this first drop. Good morning, Powell family. I appreciate your business. Hope you have a terrific day. y'all that first drop off was very easy now we're heading to Wanda's house and I messaged her and asked if she wanted these at her house or at her restaurant next door and she responded immediately and said house please so and I've told y'all before that one time the ladies who work at her restaurant told me that any order I get for uh, Wanda always goes to the restaurant not the house so you know who knows but we'll be dropping the these line, off at her house East holy cow that's heavy oh. Alright Wanda, thanks for your business. Hope you have a wonderful day and a happy Thanksgiving. All 
All right, y'all, we got Wanda's groceries dropped off. Obvious Thanksgiving dinner groceries. And she sent me a nice thank you message and wished me happy Thanksgiving. Now we're about to drop off the third and final drop, and it's small. Pretty In small. A quarter mile, turn right onto Grasmere Street. We are in the Meadows subdivision on the west side of town. In 10 minutes, we can start dashing. Oh, sorry, puppy. All right, Perry family, I appreciate your business. Hope you have a wonderful day. All right, y'all, we got that first spark order done. It would have been just perfect if we could have gotten a DoorDash or Uber order on the way back. Because uh, since we didn't, well, we got one offer from Uber for $3 that we declined. But, um, since we didn't get anything on the way back, then that means this first hour we made $20.81. So now we wait for another spark order. Be nice to get a good order. One of those $35, $45 orders. All right, y'all, so we sat in the Walmart parking lot and rejected a $21 three drop curbside pickup. One of the drops was going to an apartment and I don't know, it was only $21. It was like 10 miles, 11 miles. I was hoping for something better. Then we got a $17 three drop one of the drops was going to a motel, so, and it was about eight miles, I think. We rejected that, and then we got this $37 shopping order. I think maybe almost $38, shopping for 27 items. So, I don't really want to shop for 27 items, but I want the $38. So, here we go shopping, y'all. Family size, extra toasty. Looks like that. All right. Why didn't they let me get a four pack? Stupid. Chicken noodle. How am I supposed to get that out of there? <laughs> I need two out of thanks. be that. Yep. 
should be that. Should be this. All right. That should be it. Three of them, I hope they have them. They have exactly three. Party size, excellent. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> it's in the wrong module. One more item. Let's take a chance. Yay, we're done. That wasn't so bad. All right, y'all, we got that $38 shopping order done. We're uh, 2.8 miles away from the drop-off and trying to race back to Walmart after we drop this off. I don't know if we can make it or not. Anyway, I feel really bad uh, the customer had no substitutions turned on. So he or she wanted four little cups of beef ravioli, Chef Boyardee. Well, they didn't have any of the individual cups, but they had a four-pack. I couldn't get it because of the no substitutions. And then Cool Whip, Walmart didn't have any original Cool Whip. I could have gotten extra creamy Cool Whip, or I could have gotten great value brand whipped topping or whatever, but no substitutions. So those two items, nothing I can do about it. Sorry about that, customer. Hey, and I get it. I've been a uh, Walmart curbside pickup customer. And uh, I've had some really stupid substitutions, and it got to the point that I turned off substitutions. So I understand. Good morning.
All right, y'all, let me tell you what happened. So we did the $38 shopping order, brought it to the customer's house, rang the doorbell because the customer had to sign for it and I had to scan a driver's license because there was a bottle of cold medicine in the order. So I rang the doorbell, waited, nobody came to the door. There were two cars in the driveway. <laughs> rang the doorbell again, nobody came to the door. Knocked on the door. Knocked on the door again. This went on for what seemed like an eternity. And by the way, I had a, a decent chance of making it back to Walmart in time to get another order until all this happened. Well, anyway, finally, a 75-year-old one-armed man with dementia came out of the back door and came around to the front. And I apologized for the inconvenience, but I told him I had to scan a driver's license because there was cold medicine. So he went back into the house. A few minutes later, he came back out with his wallet. He's a one-armed man. His driver's license was in a little compartment with a little plastic window. So I tried to scan the license through the little plastic window in his wallet. That didn't work. So, with only one arm, about five minutes later, he got his driver's license out of his wallet. Still wouldn't scan. I couldn't figure out, maybe there's a way Maybe there was some little button I wasn't pressing, but I couldn't figure out a way to get beyond that point. I tried to manually enter his information. That wasn't working. So finally, you know, the man's got frozen food in his order. It's sitting on his front porch. We're both standing there. Finally, I call support. They tell me to close the app and open it back up, which I do. Try again, doesn't work. So finally, the support agent said that he would just mark the order delivered on his end. Well, y'all, I spent 30 minutes on this guy's front porch. Oh wait, it gets better. Then the 75-year-old one-armed man with dementia couldn't find his driver's license. So we looked all through his grocery bags. He searched. <laughs> he searched all through his wallet, his right pocket. Of course, couldn't search his left pocket because he didn't have a left hand. Searched everywhere. I helped him search, searched all over the ground between the front door and the back door. He went back in the house and searched. <sighs> then he started accusing me of having his driver's license. <laughs> so I emptied out all my pockets, assured him that I did not have his driver's license. And I handed it back to him. Well, then <laughs> he asked me to wait while he went in the house and got his wife's phone so that he could take a picture of me and my license plate. <laughs> so I let him take a picture of me and my license plate so I could get the heck out of there. Then I came home. And I will never, ever, ever again deliver anything that requires a driver's license. Not doing it, ever. 
I don't care if they offer me a hundred dollars. I'm not doing it. I won't ever go through that again. Thanks for riding along, y'all. Thanks for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. I appreciate it. Y'all stay safe out there. We'll see you tomorrow.